How's it going guys? This is Connor from Coil Ridge Bond Fitness. Today I'm going to show you a few things on balance and exercises that you can do to challenge your balance. So you only need a couple items with you. You could use a yoga mat, something like this, enough to kind of cover your whole body. You can use some other harder equipment like a BOSU ball or an Aerex pad. These things just create instability, make it a little bit harder for you. You also might want to step something like this. This is just a little six inch step. You can use something at your house too. If you have like a little step at home, that works just as fine. Okay. You'll also need a table or a chair, something to hold on to, especially if you're somebody who's not as stable and you're first starting out with balance. That's extremely important. We don't want you to fall or hurt yourself, fall over, you know, that could lead to some other complications that we don't want to get into. So the first one that I'm going to show you, you'll use your table or your chair. Now, if you have a chair, use the back side of the chair for your form of stability. Okay? All I'm going to do here is raise one leg off the floor and try and hold that position. So here, I'm just kind of holding the position. I'm going to shoot for about 30 seconds or so. Okay? Some other things to make this a little bit easier, so if you're very wobbly when you first start standing up on this one leg, you can lift the leg and you can start tapping with your fingers, almost like a drumming motion. This will help you sustain contact with a, an object to keep you stable, but it won't have you just hold on something. So if you're holding on something, you're not really balancing, but if you're kind of tapping, you're sustaining your balance, but you're kind of working it a little bit different. The next one you want to do is you can kind of advance to this one as you get really good at this one-legged stance hold, okay? Once that gets really easy, you can progress yourself to a harder motion. So try on one leg and adducting your leg out. So kind of kicking your leg out to the side, just like that. And again, you can add the taps if you need to for this one. You don't have to go extremely far out, like way out there is not necessary. Just a slight movement, enough to feel this muscle in your hip kind of engage, okay? So that's your adduction. Next one would be an extension of the hip. So you're gonna kind of kick the leg back, and squeeze in the rear. So here, if I kind of turn to my side, I can show you a little bit better. Kind of kicking that leg out to the back and then releasing back in. Kicking out, releasing back in. With this one, you don't have to hold it per se for 30 seconds. I'd perform more reps on this one. So maybe try like two sets of 10 to start off on each leg. And then you can progress to some of those timed, you know, 30 second holds or 30 second positioning where you're kind of kicking out for 30 seconds, kicking back for 30 seconds, things like that. Okay. The next one I'm going to show you is a march, okay? So next we'll use this step. Come on up to the step, go right behind it. You're going to lift one leg, flexing the hip, tapping the foot, and then release them back down. And here you're kind of alternating each foot, almost like you're marching in place. This one, again, is a little bit more advanced because you don't have anything to really hang on to, but it's still working that balance because you're loading one side, lifting one leg, tapping, and then releasing back down. So that's the difficulty there. Plus the alternating makes it similar to a walking motion, which is good if you're somebody who struggles with balance a little bit more, this might be a good one to try. It's gonna help you space out those feet and work on your stride, work on flexing your hip, a key movement for walking. Next one I'm gonna show you is using this Airx pad, okay? So this is just a foam pad, it creates a little instability, okay? Gonna kick this guy out to the side here. So this pad, when I step on it, it's gonna make me wobble a lot more. So here I'm gonna try and hold this position for 30 seconds. Again, just like you were on the table or the chair, you kind of did the taps, you can do the same thing here. But this is creating much more instability in my ankle. You can see I'm kind of shaking a little bit more than I was just directly on the floor. Right? This is much easier than coming up on here. Okay, creates a little bit more. Again, try each side. You want to do about 30 seconds on each side. You want to do a couple sets, two to three sets is good. When that starts to get a lot easier, you can advance yourself to a Dyna disc or a Bosu ball. So the Bosu is a little bit harder. I don't have a Dyna disc with me, but it's those little red discs that are in the gym. You guys have seen them before. This is the Bosu. If you flip it over onto its, its uh, rounder side, this has a little bit more of a, a better base of support. 
So this one tends to feel a little bit easier, but it's still definitely harder than the Air X pad that we showed you. So kind of again, holding that 30 seconds, switch your legs, try it on the other side, try to hold that position. Okay, you can try the other side. The only difference to the other side is it is just that round part now. So now you have to work a little bit more ankle stability in order to hold and maintain that position. You can see I'm not the greatest at this one. There we go, again, switching it up. Again. Okay. As those start to get easy, we can start to add other objects into the, into the motion, okay? So some other ones that I'm gonna show you are with like a toss or with like a ball toss. So again, you'd go back to that one leg and you'd maybe use like a, a ball, like a stability ball or medicine ball to kind of toss back and forth with a partner. So, you know, somebody throwing an object at me is gonna throw me off balance a little bit, right? Same thing with like, you know, a medicine ball. A medicine ball coming at me, it's gonna throw me off balance. You do both sides and then you can always advance it. You can always add the, Eric's pad or the Bosu or the Dynadis to make it a lot harder for you. So again, how that kind of looks, kind of standing on there and then tossing a ball back and forth. Okay. So let me show you this one. I'm going to use my assistant, uh, Brittany here. She's going to come out with me. Okay. Come out here. Hop on down. You're just going to throw me the ball. Okay. Hold this for a second. So what you can do is if you don't have a ball or if you need like a weight or something like that, you grab yourself this weight, okay, and you can do kind of like a pendulum. So kind of passing the weight back and forth on a pendulum. Okay, that's going to challenge the balance, it's throwing me off balance when I reach across my body. Okay, same thing on this side, right? Switch each foot, make sure you do each side. Now again, to advance this one, you could go back to that ball toss that we were talking about, but now I would face sideways. So I'd be here, my partner would be kind of standing where the camera is, right? You kind of take the ball out here and throw it across your body and your partner would catch the ball and throw it back to you. So now you're working on more of the lateral movement, a much harder thing to kind of maintain your balance in that position. Passing back catching the ball, an object coming at you is going to throw you off balance, just as if you threw another heavy object away from you, you're kind of pushing your body weight away from you, right? So that creates a little bit of instability going forward. The last one I'm going to show you is a balance exercise with a hold. So what you'll do, you'll stand on that one leg, and you're going to do kind of a hold above your head. Okay, so this could be done with a ball or a weight, something like that. So now you have an added load to your leg that's supporting you. So that makes it a lot harder in terms of, you know, adding more weight to the exercise. It makes it much harder to load that leg. If any of those are a little bit harder, you can always try some easier ones like kind of getting on like a tight rope, kind of lining up your feet like so and holding this position. That's a great easy balance one, quick one to try it and see kind of where you're starting at. Once this gets easy, you can kind of tap your nose, release back out, go to each side. It's kind of like a sobriety test in a way. Kind of tapping each side and then you could try it with your eyes closed even. So uh, closing your eyes, your eyes and your hearing kind of connect to your balance in all sort of ways. So. If you close your eyes, it'll affect how you respond during the balance. So if I close my eyes, you'll see I'm noticeably kind of a little bit more wobbly. A lot harder, right? Without having that vision sense, balance becomes a lot harder. Maintaining that equilibrium becomes a lot more difficult. Your balance is connected to your vestibular cochlear system, the big area that connects your eyes and your ears. So keep up with balance. It's one of the only things that kind of digresses as you age. Keep up with it. If you have any questions, you can always reach out to me. I'll be around.
I hope I can see you guys soon in the fitness center and have a great day. Bye.